Um, my name is Kayla Friedendahl. I am a grad student at Campbell and I play softball. You had previously mentioned about, well, since obviously a long time ago till now, um, that you maybe had lost your passion for the sport uh, before transferring to Campbell. Yeah. You know, can you talk about those things, uh, those feelings, and what your mental state was uh, during that experience? Um, I did start losing the passion a little bit when I started first in college, um, but transferring here kind of gave me a new opportunity and it gave me a new hope to love the game that I've played my entire life. So. It, it helped me stay hopeful that I would find the love for the sport again, and I would say that I haven't loved the sport more than I do now. So what made Campbell the right fit for you? What were some of those experiences that kind of, you know, turned on that light bulb? Um, you know, it's funny. I came on my visit. It was super late at night. I think it was at like 9 o'clock at night, and we couldn't really see the campus, couldn't really see the softball field, but it just felt right in my gut. Um, and after talking with Coach Cho, you know, I think we both just felt in our gut that it was a good fit for both of us. And so we just took that leap of faith and it's worked out. So you helped Campbell win the Big South title last year and reach the NCAA tournament. Um, what was that experience like winning the title and playing in the postseason? It was something I will never forget. Um, it was a wild journey. It was so exciting. It was emotional. It was honestly unreal. It was it was so fun. The memories we made along the way. Something that I dreamed about and it, it happened. Well, let's step away from the field. Uh, you've been in several, you volunteered for several different uh, places. What can you describe about those activities that you volunteer at? Um, and some of those responsibilities that you've done? Um, I've volunteered a few different things. I've done um, a food pantry um, in Raleigh, and that was a fun experience. We just separated cans, and um, it was fun to get to know the people that you worked around and just hearing their life stories and why they were there volunteering. We've also done Miracle League and Special Olympics, which are some of my favorite things to volunteer for because special needs has a special place in my heart. Um, so with Miracle League, we really just have a buddy with us and we just help them play the game that we all love um, and just spending time with them and letting them just have the freedom and have fun with the game that we like to play as well. And kind of the same thing with Special Olympics. Um, there's different events that they get to partake in and just they get to be surrounded by people like them and just feel supported and loved and it's, it's a great experience. The smiles that the kids give is something that will change your life forever and it, it hits your heart differently. Um, it hits mine differently for sure. Um, but I would have to say just seeing the excitement on their faces and the pure joy is the best memory I can get from that. So what are some things, some things that you've learned from volunteering? It humbles you, um, it humbles me, it shows me how blessed I really am and that I just really wanna give back. I think one of my first um, moments that I realized that I loved spending time with kids who have special needs is I had an old teammate and her brother had um, cerebral palsy and seeing the joy on his face whenever we interacted or he could show me something cool was just, it was awesome and I loved the feeling that it gave me and so I just wanted to continue with that. Now from a school standpoint and your future career, what is your major and what are you looking to do uh, to pursue in your career? So I just graduated in December with um, a special education degree and I'll have my license to teach special ed and elementary ed. Um, and now I'm going to school for um, gifted education. So I'm working on my master's for that. Maybe work with kids who have autism or social and emotional needs. Uh, those kids really have my heart, so I, I want to spend the rest of my life working with them.